Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elevating Your Life with Paula Vale. We are going to elevate today. Oh my gosh. Uh, I have with us just a fun, fascinating guest. We have with us today, Laura Penn Gallerstein. She is the author of Whispers in Sound, a profound healing journey through sacred vibrations and meditation. She is the owner of Sedona Sacred Sounds, 500 Certified Hours Yoga, a very experienced practitioner and dynamic teacher in the field of body, mind, and spirit. For over 40 years, she has been committed to learning and developing her skills in many aspects of sound healing, yoga, Reiki, reconnection healing, intuition, Pilates, and dance healing, her vision it, and dance healing. Her vision is to bring these amazing sounds of healing into hospitals, hospice, and wellness centers. I'm just so excited and I'm really excited. I'm going to actually get to meet Laura in September on my trip to Sedona. Oh, Laura, first off, welcome, dear. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. I am just honored and I so enjoyed your book. Let's let's begin with uh, a little bit about your book, The Whispers in Sound. What triggered you to write that, Laura? <laughs> um, spirit and COVID. <laughs> uh, while we were home um, for that year, I just kept hearing, write your meditations, put together all your years of meditations and write your personal journey. And it was really a clear, strong message. And um, I had done a lot of healing work on in my life. And I felt like people needed to hear about how you can heal yourself through dreams, your intuition, through that deep inner guidance that speaks to every single human being. And it's just a matter of listening. Yes, isn't it amazing? And and you share so much. It's so inspiring. And and the meditations you have in the book is absolutely fantastic. I, I'm a meditation lover. What what's your thought on meditations? I mean, the best, what would you say are the greatest benefits that we gain from meditations? Well, there's uh, there are so many benefits I can't even begin to count. But number one, it uh, calms your nervous system. It helps you to get more focused. It brings you back home to yourself. And um, I have studied with many different meditation teachers in an ashram with a swami, with profound meditation uh, teachers, leaders in yoga. And there are so many meditations out there that you can pick from. But the ones that really affect you in a way that you can calm your mind down, you're not gonna get rid of your thoughts. Your thoughts don't just disappear, but what it does, it pulls your focus into one place. And with that focus, it's like all the thoughts go into the background. Now they may pop in and out, you know, but you can breathe them in and out. And when you focus on your breath, that's one of the simplest, easiest meditations you can do. Just counting your breath. Yes. Isn't it amazing what just taking some time every day to have those long, deep breaths, what that does for our body? Oh, it does so much. And it takes us into the parasympathetic nervous system. And the thing that I'm really uh, clear about, this last year brought a lot of people into fear. And fear is that stress, like a tiger is coming after you. And, it, and that's your, your nervous system that is totally on edge. And when you can bring yourself into that quiet meditative place, you literally push those fear demons away and you come back home to that quiet, peaceful place inside yourself. And that's more truth than fear. 
Love is more powerful, more truthful than any fear on our planet. Yes, yes. And I, I have to mention a quote you have in your book that I just absolutely adored and I find it to be so true. The moment you start acting like life is a blessing, it starts feeling like one. Oh my gosh, that's a powerful message, Laura. Well, it's our minds, you know, it's our feelings and our minds that we can, we start feeling more gratitude, more grateful, you know, just shifting from complaining and negativity to gratitude and thankfulness. It brings your whole life perspective more into a blessed state. And then you start feeling like your life is a blessing. Yes, yes, it is amazing. It is amazing. And it does. And I've always said, you know, that I, I start my day thinking about something, at least one thing I'm grateful for. And I think it sets a whole tone of my day. It does. Absolutely. Absolutely. Where your focus is. Yes. You know, where's your focus? Where's your attention? And where your attention is, where energy goes. Yes. Attention and then and it just follows. So, yeah. I, I love agree. all the, the crystal bowls I see behind you. I am a crystal bowl lover myself. And I, I would love to have you share, you know, what you love the most about the crystal bowls. And I have to tell you, when I first discovered the crystal healing bed, which I then bought in, I discovered it in um, Machu Picchu, but then I turned on to crystal bowls from a Sedona trip. And my oldest son, that's a, a scientist, researched the crystal bowls. In the, and it's unbelievable, the benefits of sound healing. Tell us what has really uh, got in your heart and inspired you with the crystal bowls that you do so much with. Well, I'll tell you, it's pretty simple. My, my life started with music and dance as a child. And as I um, got older into my teens and 20s, um, one of the ways that I got away from my problems was dancing and music and sound. So um, when I start, when, and then years later, I got into a yoga trainings and we had, um, sound bowls at the end of the classes and i was just smitten i was like oh my gosh I, and then i was asked to teach and sub and play these bowls i didn't know what the heck i was doing but um what i love about them is number one their color their beauty so having more beauty in the world is what we all need their alchemy meaning transformation and then the sounds they're all digitally tested to perfectly match your different energy systems, your chakras. And I play, I'll play like a series, like seven of them together, but you don't need that many to create that magic, but it's magic. And you play, you chime them and, and you know, maybe sometime we'll, we'll do that on video. I, I have some videos. Yeah, I have some videos already on YouTube and on my website and of playing the bowls. And then the breath work, the bowls, setting your intention. And it's, it's a whole thing that's so alchemical and transformational that you feel like you've gone into bliss land. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's so peaceful and beautiful and it brings in beauty and the, the music. And I just think having more beauty in the world and making people fall in, helping people to fall in love with themselves is more of what we need. And the bowls have the ability to do that with the correct practitioner. Yes, yes. I, I play a bowl after uh, I finished with Reiki clients. We finished with me playing a bowl. And I mean, it's like, it just goes right through you. You yeah. know, I, it, it just raises the vibration of the whole room. You know, people that have never experienced crystal bowls will just, wow, really, it's beyond words, isn't it? I, I just feel everyone needs to experience <laughs> Crystal bowl sound healing. It's, it's almost too awesome to describe. 
it, it, it is beyond words. And that's the magic of the bowls. You said it so perfectly. It takes you beyond your thoughts. And you hear these sounds and you're like in this whirlwind of sound. And, and the beautiful thing is the vibrations go right to a cellular level. They can yes. write to your cells and your bones and your muscles and your tissues. And the whole idea is to be, yeah, fascinating. I know. <laughs> oh, and, and you actually sell crystal bowls there in Sedona, don't you? I love it. I do. I and I make it very personal to each person, whoever needs whatever they need. I, oh, I try to work with I them. I can't on wait a for September, get a new bowl, <laughs> add to my collection. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, I and I would love to have you share something else that, that you had in your book, Laura. I had so much fun with your book, but you talked about you've been trained in in the human design system. Tell us what that is. Wow. Well, it it is um I, you know, I bit I I didn't go through an official training, but what I did was I took some classes and then I did a lot of self-study. And it's a man who, who literally took himself out of this, um, his home and world and he lived someplace remotely. And for like every day, I think it was like 30 days, he kept getting all this information and it relates to astrology, it relates to Tai Chi, it relates to all these different modalities that he put together into this system. And it's so fascinating because it tells you so much about yourself. Things that, it, it's got all these lines and where you're open and where, you're, where, where you've been conditioned in your life. And, what, and it relates to the chakras, the whole yogic philosophy of chakras and balance and, and, and what you come into this world with, um, knowing about yourself, but then what you don't know about yourself. And that's what's fascinating, like your unhidden, your hidden gifts, the <laughs> gifts and talents that you don't even know you have. Yes. <laughs> fun. Oh, and to open up any of those, that's always fascinating. It's fascinating. I'll, I'll do it for you sometime. Oh, I love <laughs> it. I'm excited. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, I continue to believe that at any time of your life, any age, you can discover a new passion, you know, something else that just is inside you. We, we never stop discovering and growing, do we? Never. And we should be like that our whole life long. Yes. Find something new to feel passionate about. And um, I feel really passionate about so many things, but with the sound and, and that we just stepped into the Aquarian age, and this is a new age for us to awaken to these hidden gifts to these hidden talents and to find more passion and joy and not just working for a job, but doing something that really excites you and you're passionate about and finding a way to be creative enough so you can support yourself. Yeah. And, and it can be something really quite simple and, you know, a variety. We all have our, our own little gifts and our, our own uniqueness. And that's really something to celebrate. And isn't it amazing how each of us right now, where we are in our lifetime, we made the choice to be in this lifetime. Yes. Isn't that fascinating. You know, this yeah. is the choice we made. We made these choices and we made the choice before we were born. Yes. And we decided, you know, which family we're going to be with and, and what lessons we need to learn. And, and I think this lifetime was a lesson for clearing so much baggage and suffering and karma so that we can move into this Aquarian age has been predicted for, for many, 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 many years. And we, it's been dawning for 60 some years, but in, in December, we literally stepped into it. Yes. So it, it's just, there's just so much to think about so much. <laughs> fascinating information. Wow. And so would you say really 
the key to our just connecting and being part of this new age is simply, you know, do the breaths, do the relaxation, do the yoga, perhaps some meditations. So with you being so experienced in yoga, yoga over the years, tell us what, what are the best benefits would you say for doing yoga? Um, well, not only just movement and freeing the body of stiffness and tightness, um, but literally the breath work throughout all the postures, if you're breathing deeply, can literally bring you into that parasympathetic nervous system. And that's that place of rest, relax, and digest. And I, you know, I just bring it back to every time I do my practice, I'm coming home to me. And that's, I think the biggest thing that people don't know how to come home to themselves. And they think it's, oh, it's out there or it's out there, but it really it's in here. And that's what I feel like through the breathing, through the meditation, through my practice, the actual asana practice, it's coming home to me each day. And oh, it's- yes. yes, I love that, I love that. And so much can be opened up for us if we, you know, develop our intuition and, and mm. pay attention to our intuition, isn't that true? You know, that is so true. And, and especially like I do a lot of dream work and I write down my dreams and that was what I was really excited about because I had so many profound dreams that I was most excited to share in my book. Um, the dreams with, and this is all related to our intuition. Um, I was in this partnership and I kept having these dreams. Oh, by the end of the semester, you'll be leaving. And the end of the end of the semester was December. So it was like the end of the year. And then I had a dream. Um, you're not ready for dessert. You have to wait for it. And, and that was like in September that I had that dream. And I hadn't told my partner yet that I was ready to make a change. And then when my dad when my dad was sick nobody knew he was sick and i had a dream that he died before anyone even knew that he had cancer and so you know when i called him up i was traveling at the time on a cruise ship teaching and i was in new zealand and i called him up i said dad is everything okay he said yeah everything's fine so i hung up went back on the ship i had two more months got off the ship called my parents you know, just to say hello. And m my mom said, sit down. And you know, when somebody says sit down and they said, daddy's got terminal cancer. So our intuition can be linked in with dream work and imagery. And so that's why another reason why we wanna meditate is it to open up this third eye. It's the third eye that is the place of inner vision and inner, so it opens up, it helps you to get access to your dreams thoughts, your gut feeling, um, in, in many different ways, we want to open up this third eye so we can have more access to that intuition. Oh, gosh, Laura. Laura, will you share with everything, your with everyone, your website information, uh, where they can get a copy of Whispers and Sound, and, and tell us for, for those that, that make trips to Sedona, what, what all you offer to, to people? Okay, wonderful. Well, my website is Laura, L-A-U-R-A, Penn, P-E-N-N, Gallerstein, G-A-L-L-E-R-S-T-E-I-N.com. And in my website, which is really cool, I just recorded 11 meditations that are in the book. And when you get the book, which you can order on Amazon, when you get the book, inside are the 11 guided meditations, but they're also on my website. And you'll have total access to them any time of the day on my website to listen to the meditations. 
Um, when you come to Sedona, I offer sound baths on my deck, and I have a beautiful deck where it's right outside in nature. It's pretty exquisite, and I'll do like an hour, hour and a half, two hours, and we might do card readings with with the bowls, and I'll, I'll we'll use essential oils, and that's amazingly amazingly magical and um so i offer that i do privates um what else do i do here i do a lot of zoom classes so i i usually offer kundalini once a week on zoom unless i'm traveling and then i'll do a sound baths on zoom unless i'm traveling which i'm seeming to do more and more these days and I'm trying to think what else. And I've got a lot of volunteer activities that I'm getting involved with, but in terms of you coming to Sedona, we have an Airbnb cottage that you could stay in and make a little retreat for yourself. Okay. And I, I know, and I also do retreats. Like we have an upcoming retreat in April with my girlfriend. She teaches um, um, exercise, modalities like based on Pilates, but it's it's based on posture and I'll do all the the woo woo stuff, the the bowls and meditation and and card readings and so that's in April, but happening in August, I'm actually leading a sound training for practitioners, for anyone who wants to learn how to lead a sound bath, how to work with the bowls, because in this new day, we need training. We need to learn and, and, and share our gifts and shine brightly to help. There's a lot of people who are suffering right now, and that's my commitment, is to help people get out of suffering. Yeah. So the yeah, so the training, actually that training's in San Diego. But oh, if you're- I love it, I love it. And I love the idea of more and more people getting into that training and helping others, even Reiki practitioners, you know, yeah. pulling in the, the crystal bowls and the sound training with that. That's huge. Such a great benefit for so many people. I love it, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Well, with a few minutes left in the show, will you will you share your last thoughts with us? What what message do you want to leave with us today? Well, I first of all, thank you so much for having me. I'm honored to be a guest today. Um I think the biggest message is that we need to be a force field of optimism and that when I just think any way, any modality you can find to shine your light and be a force field for optimism and not to fall into gossip and not to fall into negativity and, and whatever brings you down, stay away from and try to find ways to uplift yourself every single day to feel positive, joyful, and most importantly, hopeful for our future. Because I know without a shadow of a doubt, we are going into the most amazing days ahead. And we're going to have turmoil and chaos, and there's going to be some sadness. But once we get past that, it's going to be phenomenal on our planet. And so we all need to be warriors of peace, of light, of love and joy. Oh, I love that. I love that. And, you know, we, would you say a big part of that is going to be loving and taking care of ourselves? Yes. You know, doing, those <laughs> doing those meditations and all of that wonderful Yes. Love me. Love me, yes. means, I'll call it. <laughs> I, yes, yes, yes. And so it, love everyone else. Yes, yeah, self care. Yeah. Self love care. Yeah, where we take care of ourselves every day and then we have more, much more to give to others. Yeah. And I, you know, I've always, I've always said to my students, it's like Reiki soup, you know, what we can do. <laughs> We can learn Reiki, we can add crystals, we can add oils, we can add meditation. I mean, 
yoga, so many, there are so many outlets out there for us. And each person can kind of, you know, find out what really triggers them and just have fun with that. And in the meantime, what it does for them, it's amazing. Yeah, it's changed my life. Yes, it is. It's life changing, isn't it? It's, it's life changing in the most positive, best way I can, I can think of. Yeah. And, and all of these great modalities, they're really, they're not complicated. They're just mm -mm. really, they're actually very simple, but yet very powerful, aren't they? Yes, very much so. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to get together with you. It's going to I be can't. so fun, Laura. Me too. <laughs> uh, and I'm just so thrilled that, that you're enlightening so many people and and bringing that the information of how wonderful crystal balls are yeah they're wonderful yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you they do so much and everyone out there thank you so much for being with us if you're listening to this on audio you can watch it on video on patreon.com slash paula vale uh, otherwise, feel free to email me or Laura for any information, and we're just so grateful to have had you join us today. Laura, thank you so much for being here. This has been so fantastic. <laughs> thank you. It has been my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are so welcome. And love, hugs and blessings to everyone. Laura, love, hugs and blessings. Thanks. Hugs and blessings. Thank Namaste. You.